My name's Adam. You may know me as the Paranormal Polynesian. Today we have a very special treat for you. I'm here at the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. What do you think of this? We've got a beautiful wonder, and it's haunted. We're going on a ghost tour, so won't you join me on this? I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe up here. I don't smoke. Today we've booked a ghost tour here at the Stanley and we're going to go on it in just a few minutes. So won't you join me here on this Haunted History walking tour? Hey everyone. I can't believe we're back at the Stanley Hotel after so many years. This is one of my favorite haunted hotspots in all of America. I can't believe that I caught a ghost in a photo and I didn't know, otherwise I would have stayed longer and just, I don't know, caught more ghosts for you guys. But this place has never failed to disappoint. Every time I have visited, I have gotten some sort of paranormal activity. So let's go on a quick tour of the hotel and then I'll show you those pictures. I remember when they built this hedge maze. It was the year that I was married. And Barney and I came here for our honeymoon. And they were just little babies. Looks like they've grown a little bit. The beautiful hotel. Let's go inside. Should be a treat. Ooh. What do you think? Let's take a little tour. There's the founder, F.O. Stanley. He built this place. There's the restaurant. Look at this old tiny front desk. It's beautiful. So the Stanley Hotel was built in 1909 by F.O. Stanley, and it's a modern marvel. F.O. Stanley, of course, is famous for building the Stanley Steamer, this vehicle right here, powered by the... Oh, I can't breathe again. The altitude is no joke, you guys. I'm not kidding. So come look at this. The Stanley Steamer was founded in 1902 when the average gas car was only going maybe 20 miles an hour. This baby went over 100, 110, and even set the land speed record for over 120 miles an hour. And it was like driving a giant pressure cooker. The tour guide said they blew up all the time. So let's go over here. This elevator still works. And it opens like a little cage and closes. And it's scary as <laughs> I'm always scared that I'm gonna die in it. What do you think of this coat, by the way? Do you love it? What? <laughs> What's this over here? This is an apparition. This is Jen. Jen, are you so excited to be here? Are you so excited to be here? <sighs> Dear, you're not mine. I am so excited. Becky, are you excited? I'm so excited. Show your excited face. Person? Oh, there, the elevator opened. The music room where Mrs. Stanley loved to play the piano. Guest reports seeing her in the mirror. Are you spooked? Would you be scared if you saw Mrs. Stanley playing the piano in the mirror? I know I would. I'd be like, what's, what's going on? Look at the view. Beautiful. And 
stairs. The stairs. People see a black shadow of a man going down these stairs quite often. Well, hey, you two. Are you getting all warm by the fire? I can't breathe. I cannot breathe here. <laughs> Help. Help me. So. Before any ghost hunt, it's important to get your sustenance inside you. So I like a six inch cookie personally before <laughs> I go talk to the dead. How about you, Becky? What do you get? I, I'm definitely getting one of these cookies before I go talk to the They look dead. delish. They look like a little pizza. A cherry oatmeal square sounds good. Did you see these candy bars that say red rum on them? No. Where? Isn't that cute? Cute! Mm -hmm. Maybe I should give away one to one of my viewers. It'll just cost $15 to ship the $5 candy bar, but that's fine. No big deal. Oh well, yeah, this is where when I first started coming out here, this is where my little hangout was. Every morning, come get your coffee, take the day in, get ready to ghost hunt, investigate. Actually, comment below, do you say ghost hunt or paranormal investigate? Some people get very angry about that. What do you say, Becky? Um, oh God, that's not even the... Get out of here. No. Ooh, yum. Those are good for allergies. Yeah. You take some honey from the, the region that you're in if you're having bad allergies in the spring and you eat it. And it gets rid of your allergies, the more you know. Here's something cool I found on the wall downstairs. Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels bring funny to the Stanley Hotel. The Stanley Hotel became a major set in the filming of Dumb and Dumber in May of 1994. A buddy comedy film starring Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels as two intellectually challenged best that means stupid girl. Here's the fun fact that you won't hear on the tour. I was told by the hotel years ago that while filming Dumb and Dumber, Jim Carrey was staying in room 217, which is supposedly haunted, and in the middle of the night, he fled out into the night and was never seen again. He never came back again. I wonder what he saw. It was probably the room service prices. And speak of the devil, here we've moved on to matted photos of the production of the 1997 miniseries the Shining, which is kind of cool because 20 years prior in 1977, on September 30th, Stephen King, on accident, happened upon this hotel, had a nightmare about his son in room 217, and came up with the entire story to The Shining. So it's really neat how he was able to come back and film his version of the story, which, by the way, flopped. No offense, Rebecca De Mornay, because I do love you. Uh, you and Steven Weber are, are just dolls. But the movie didn't go over well. I love it. I think you should find a way to find it online or something and watch it yourself. Oh, there's Stephen King himself. And uh, here's a little info about uh, the filming. But you don't need it because you got me. Feeling thirsty? The Stanley has a liquor store in the basement serving all kinds of whiskey in case you want to get your Jack Torrance on, you know? A little bit of the hair of the dog to fake it. Can you imagine if you work here and you have to hear people like me saying stupid <laughs> shit all day? <laughs> it was like, sir, can you please just <laughs> So I have some sad news, you guys. I was going to take you on a haunted history walking tour of the haunted tour that I'm about to go on, but I'm not allowed to film it. So, it's still going to be a fun video, and we will be back soon, and I'll stay here, and we'll stay in room 217, huh? Okay, let's see. Yeah, so the fourth floor originally was used by the maids and the help. 
and they also watched all the children here and so that's why there's sounds of children that people hear all the time on the fourth floor oh, they say come play with us they do <laughs> and i had my honeymoon on this floor oh cool look at you So this is where room 217 would be on the second floor. So it looks like they're just doing the whole wing very remodeled. So people have heard the sounds of balls bouncing down this hall and coming down these stairs back right here. So look at that. Wow. Oh, I just got really dizzy. Holy crap. Wow, sir. If you guys watched my video on YouTube, this is where I spent the night in here. That's so funny. You love it? Yeah. Yeah, and then, also, in my video, I got an orb right here that was like floating. It was right in front of that door. The employees really go down here to get in. Whose bag of stuff is this? I don't know. Oh, I think it's um, our friend from Utah. But oh. wait, so the employees actually walk through here to get to work? Yeah, but it's, it's like their break room is in there. Their break room is in the mountain? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Who did that? I don't know. Who did that? Hello? I know someone did that. I don't know. I'm telling you, they hate Adam. What was that? Where'd that come from? It right above us. Is somebody stomping on the on the ceiling? Was that from the ceiling? Yeah. These pipes right above us. That was loud. Did you get that on tape? Yeah. 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 What was that? I thought the thing was gonna fall apart. I, Are I, you guys by yourself over there? Yeah. Yeah. I that thought was loud. I thought I was gonna get crushed by pipes right now. Hello. If you want me to leave, will you do it again? I'm oh God. Jesus, that was crazy. Hello. Is one of us bothering you in particular? Am I being... I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything. I just... I just... I just... Did you just re... Something just blinked over there. Put yeah. your flashlight off. Yeah, I don't think they can make that kind of noise. Maybe I should go upstairs and um, step on the floor or something. There's no way that that would have happened. That would not have happened that bad. That was loud. Goodbye, Stanley Tunnels underneath. Creepy <laughs> place. One of the creepiest places in all of the Stanley Hotel isn't actually in the hotel, it's next door in the concert hall, which was also built in 1909 and has seen hundreds of shows over the years. While on the tour, the guide spoke of a maintenance man who lived in the basement of this music hall and died in 2005 while shoveling the sidewalks outside. I would die too if that happened, honestly. This janitor's name is Paul and he's very disgruntled and does not like anyone in the building after 11 p.m. He loves to drop the f-bomb and he loves to scare people when they come and visit. And when we went to the basement, I can feel his energy and the negativity that might have been coming off of him. I don't know the story of Paul, but I know that there's something negative down in the basement. So when the tour guide said that the mirror that's also original to the building captures spirits all the time, I had to take some photos. You can see here in the reflection of the mirror that I took, there are three women standing by the wall. There's nowhere else for a person to be behind them. You can imagine my surprise when I saw a man in the reflection 
who was never in the group with us. There's really nowhere for him to be standing behind these girls and there's no legs that I'm seeing. This photo is terrifying. He doesn't even look like he's part of the group. He looks a different color and he's staring right at me through the reflection. After the women left, I made sure I was one of the last people in the room and I still took three photos in auto burst mode and you can see in the reflection of the mirror there is a man standing that wasn't in any of the other photos and he's also looking right at me. I have never captured two photos like this simultaneously and I know that I was the only person in that room other than the people I mentioned. What do you guys think of these photos? There's something about capturing a person in a photograph when you know they weren't there when you took it. Comment below, what do you think of these? And have you ever visited the Stanley Hotel and have you had any experiences in the concert hall? Comment below and let me know. You guys, we had a wonderful time here at the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park. Went on the ghost tour. I didn't get to show you much, of course, because it's copyrighted. But I enjoy this place. It's got a piece of my heart. Just a piece of it, right here. So I recommend coming out here. Drive, drive out to Estes Park. Just drive across the country, come stay here. Drop the 500 a night on a room, it's totally worth it. And get your ghost. So, what else should I say? <laughs> I'm freezing my tits off, so until I see you next time, keep it paranormal. I can see my breasts. I can see my breasts. <laughs> <laughs>